Good day to you, YouTube. My name is Derek Broad, and I am going to be your guide and host throughout these series of videos. But, welcome to the first episode of The Gentleman's Corner. But, before we actually dive into the actual topic of this episode, I think that a little bit of backstory is appropriate. I created The Gentleman's Corner because, especially in recent years, with the increase in popularity of uh, millennials and the like, things like etiquette, eloquence, and mannerisms, all essential qualities of gentlemanliness have taken a significant downturn, and I serve to change that. However, in a social situation, such as a job interview, a party, or whatever the case may be, before anything happens, first impression is the first thing that happens. It's relatively self-explanatory. And generally, People aren't very good at that anymore because of this downturn in gentlemanliness. So here's seven tips and tricks to kill it for that first impression. Number one is have a good firm handshake, honestly. Practice, practice, practice. If you don't have a good firm handshake, that significantly affects their first impression of you. I cannot count how many times I've met somebody and they've, like, I go out to shake their hand and they just kind of turn to gelatin in this, eh, and that significantly uh, damages my first impression of them because it it's the first thing that happens. Like, uh, say you're going into a job interview. What's the first thing that happens before you even sit down? You reach out and you shake the manager's hand. Number two, keep your grooming in check, honestly. If you've got a beard, then keep your lines in order. If... Uh, make sure you don't smell. Uh, put cologne and deodorant on. Um, maybe manscape a little bit if you've got like the hair coming out of the top of the collar. And that, uh, like the hair on top of your head matters as well. Make sure that you have a good haircut, that it's not all like uh, all over the place and everything like that. And make sure that your beard isn't all scraggly. Buy a trimmer or uh, go to the barber. And a trip for keeping your grooming in check is if you're going to wear a beard or if you're, uh, whatever the case may be, wait until the morning of to do your grooming. Because as you all know, when you wake up in the morning, you've got a little bit of stubble going. Whether it be here if you're wearing a beard or whether it be here if you're clean shaven. And if you look unruly or unkempt, it's severely going to affect a first impression. It really is. And a lot of people underestimate this, but even one night for some people, especially people like me who grow hair quite quickly, one night can really mess with your grooming game. Number three. Dress to impress, honestly. Like, I'm not saying, like, if you're going to a job interview at McDonald's or something like that, that you need to show up in a tuxedo. In fact, I would encourage you not to, because that means you're overdressing, and that can also affect their first impression of you, because they see you as probably a tryhard. But if something like this, for example, would be appropriate, take a look at the other people that have been working there, and a general rule to, or a good general rule to follow is dress a step up. Uh, if they're in a uniform, then a nice collared shirt and perhaps a jacket is probably a good bet. If they're already in suits or uh, perhaps something like this, put on a tie, maybe. Even if you don't normally, trust me, it's going to do nothing but help. Number four, posture is important. One of the first things that someone notices is about people when they meet them is their posture. Trust me, I know. When I was young and in the early stages of junior high and stuff like that, I had pretty bad spinal problems, so my posture was like this, and I walked around very slouched over, and that affected a lot of people's first impressions of me. It's just how it is. It's one of the first things that people notice about you. Number five is honestly, just be confident. If you're going into something thinking, already thinking that you're not going to be able to do it, chances are you're not going to do it. 
without confidence, people just don't have the drive to go out and have the necessary, um, what's the word, uh, the, like, conviction to go out and do what is necessary in order to comp accomplish a certain task, whatever it may be. And confidence really affects the vibes that people get from you, and that is most certainly a thing. If you're confident and you're, uh, you've got that smile and you've got your grooming in check and you're looking good, then chances are you're pretty confident yourself, and that's really just going to boost someone's opinion of you. Number six is honestly be clear and concise. Diction is important. Um, for example, I work at a hotel and I have for quite some time. And uh, if you're going in and you're kind of like stumbling over your words and you're not uh, and you're not being clear and concise, then chances are I'm not going to succeed at this job because a large part of my of the work at a hotel or um, in customer service, or even if uh, in later careers, like if you're a lawyer or something like that, anything that requires you to use your voice, they need to know that you are going to be able to complete whatever task it may be, like uh, talking to a customer on the phone or talking to a customer over the drive through or something like that, and that you are going to be successful at that. And in a first impression, if you're not going to be clear and concise, and you aren't, then chances are that you're not going to be in the future. And so that really affects how people see you. Number seven. Really, it seems simple. Smile. Smiling really affects how people see you. It, uh, smiling is a large sign of confidence, and it's also... Uh, it shows that you're happy and that you are, um, and that you have a certain go to itiveness. Honestly, show off those pearly whites. If you don't have really good teeth or something like that, then keep your lips closed. Something like that. But smiling is important, and it's ju and each of these are in no real particular order. All of them are just as important as the last. And all of it will affect the way that someone sees you on their first impression. Recent studies have shown that people make a first impression of you like as soon as you walk through the door, in the first pretty much second. That pretty much means that, say you're walking into a job interview, they have already decided whether they're going to whether they're going to hire you or not within the first five seconds. And that's actually fact. Google it, really. However, those are my seven tips and tricks into killing it with your first impression. That's all that I have for today. I will see you at the Writers Emporium, and I will see you at Facts Fun Philosophy. Oh my! So. Oh, and my camera fell over. Have a nice day.